Mamoswine, conceptually brilliant, but they did him a little bit dirty. He needs to get fixed. Stay tuned. What is You already know what it is. It's your mediocre Pokemon Unite Master here, Tiggly Man. And today, we're gonna be talking about the state of Mamoswine and Pokemon Unite. I was extremely excited for this Pokemon. And when my, uh, one of my friends and I were kind of talking prior to Mamoswine and Sylveon getting announced, we were talking about what Pokemon we think would fit Unite. And when you go to Schmogan's website, you know, the people with Pokemon Showdown and everything, you look through the roster of Pokemon, and man, there's a lot. There's a lot that would fit this game very, very well. And I think it's funny, when we were done with our conversation, this was months ago, months, months ago, when my one buddy told me, I think Mamoswine would make a great fit in Unite, and I think that I could see them adding him. And sure as shit, <laughs> there he is. They put him in the game. I thought that was really a really funny coincidence. I'm happy he's here. Conceptually, He's very, very cool in the way he functions. He's different from other defenders. Very similar, but performs differently, okay? Now, let's just go over this real quick. His basic attacks are fine, right? His passive is fantastic, right? You get a lot of defense out of his passive. He becomes very, very tanky when you get your three stacks on your passive. His two ice moves are great they're instantaneous instant displacement it stresses the enemy team out good aoe's it, they're good they're good now let's get to the problem both of these moves cool but they suck like seriously they're not good at all they're borderline useless if you're versing a competent player. Now, high horsepower, If you, we'll, we'll go into practice mode, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But when you look at this, the little pick art and everything, it looks intense. It, it has the user rush recklessly in the designated direction, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon. It hits and shoving them. It sounds very epic, right? And it kind of is. But the one thing this doesn't say is if you hit this on a Pokemon, and they keep running, they can get away from you like almost every time. It's really stupid. It's really stupid. So when you use high horsepower, Mammal Swine dashes, right, right? It puts a line on the ground with a circle and you dash. And then when you hit the end of the line, you plow the ground. Well, the thing is though, there's about an entire second in the animation where nothing happens. And if you've played Mammal Swine and high horsepowered uh, Greninja or a Cinderace, um, as long as they keep moving, they can literally just run out of your area of effect damage. So the only thing that hits them is the charge. And the end of the move, that's the big thing, is when you slam the ground and um, it, it that, that's where the damage comes from right and they can just run away from it you're supposed to freeze them it says this stomping deals increased damage to frozen pokemon but the odds of like freezing one and then landing a full high horsepower and the odds of them still staying frozen while you're doing it it's very low it's not realistic at all if any of you have played league of legends which that might turn your stomach to here right because that game is it's hard it's a very tough game the community is very toxic i personally love it there is a support tank named Alistair. He is a Minotaur, and he reminds me of Mamoswine. Alistair is one of my favorite characters. Now, his kit is very, very similar to Mamoswine's, except Alistair is extremely fast and oppressive, extremely fast. He has a move that's like high horsepower called Headbutt, and he just goes flying at the opponent, headbutts them away. But it is instantaneous. Like, in order to dodge it, if he's near you, you would need your eject button and unite if you get what i'm saying like you'd have to eject button away from it for it to not land whereas if someone's just moving you could hit them with the dash but if they're if they keep moving they'll just leave and you can't finish them on the move they have to stand still you have to bank on a choke to make the move work and that sucks you shouldn't have to you should be able to intelligently use it right and um we have earthquake too this move is better than high horsepower way more consistent but the thing is when you use this move there's an entire second where you don't do anything like mammal swine winds up and then he jumps so you have to predict where your opponent's going because they get they get that information before you jump like oh he's using earthquake i'm gonna run this direction again you have to bank on a choke right and because he's a stage two pokemon you have to deal with being weak until level 10 pillow swine 
isn't bad. When you hit level six, you're not terrible, but like Snorlax's existence invalidates using Mammal Swine. Like if you're using Mammal Swine, you're just using a worse Snorlax. And let me tell you, let me tell you why. Earthquake is a 7.5 second cooldown. I'm pretty sure Snorlax's Heavy Slam is shorter than that. We'll, we'll go check to be certain. But Heavy Slam is instantaneous. As soon as you use the move, there's no delay in animation. Snorlax jumps to the area, hits, stuns everyone. This move doesn't even stun, right? So like, you, you get what I'm saying? One second for the animation before you even jump. And when you hit, you deal mediocre damage at best. And it's dodgeable. Whereas Snorlax is Heavy Slam, when you heavy slam, it, you go, you go. You can make someone jump out of their chair if you use heavy slam correctly, because it's so quick. You could steal objectives with it. You could see, you can't see it coming, you know? And, but both of these moves you could see coming. And if you deal with a competent player, any speedster, fast attacker, Greninja, Cinderace, Gengar, whatever it may be, Talonflame, they will dodge everything. And right, like their mobility's higher. They're supposed to, but like, how, if you ever played Snorlax, how many heavy slams have you landed on a Cinderace Greninja? I bet you you use that move to execute them. I bet you. But with him, you can't. Because if they just get one little speed boost from any move, they're running away from it. You ain't hitting them. And it really saddens me. And also, his ult is good for executions. But outside of that, you can die pretty easy while using it. And it does not do a lot of damage. It doesn't. His, his ult needs a buff. And um, both both of his his high horsepower and his earthquake there needs to be zero animation delay when you use high horsepower right at the end the, the ground should just quake do the damage earthquake should be an instant jump right like shouldn't that be it he evolves twice so you spend literally over half your game being subpar and when you finally hit level 10 your kit the meat and potatoes of your kit outside of your ice moves are borderline useless against a competent player and your alt is underwhelming. And that's really unfortunate. All it takes is these moves to execute quicker, this to do a little more damage. That's it. That's it. Increase this damage by 15% and then take away the animation um, delays that exist on both of these moves. And he can become a much faster oppressive force. His damage output's low. So there should be no reason, no reason at all, why either of these take a while to execute. Absolutely not. So I have no items on Mammal Swine right now. Let's go into the practice area super quick. I want to show you guys something. I kind of want to show you the scaling on Mammal Swine compared to Snorlax. And we'll get more in depth as to why Snorlax's existence invalidates Mammal Swine. And then also you can see Blastoise over to the side. He also invalidates Mammal Swine's existence because his damage output is so freakishly high. He needs to get nerfed too. Oh yeah, by the way, I do love this game. I do. I just, uh, I'm passionate about it. I want to see the game get balanced. I want to see esports potential in this game. I really, really do. Right now with the way the game is, I don't see esports potential, right? And I, I don't care if it becomes an esport or not. I just want a very highly competitive, nonsensical environment. And there's literally like t only 10 Pokemon you can pick from in your given roles. Just because other Pokemon invalidate other Pokemon's existence because their stats and kits are so much better than the others. Okay? So I'm going to walk in over to the substitute doll. Right? I'm going to flick this on over. We'll go into practice options. We're going to go to stats. Okay? So you can see my health, defense, and everything like that. Right? Let's uh, take it slow. Let's go up to level six. You can kind of see the stats you gain. Swinub does not get anything early game, really. Like, uh, level three, Swinub compared to level one, ain't much. Again, ain't much. Now, this next level up, watch the defense, the spit off in HP. You're, it's going to be like 500 HP, and you're going to get like 40 defense, and I think like 30 or 40 spit off. Just like that. So there's first power spike, but again, still average right and we get our ice fang let me exit out put ice fang on let's uh switch over real quick just to the damage output right so three auto attacks let's see one two three 343 dps not very good not very good let's try both of our abilities so 343 dps with auto attacks now with this got that slam the ground 1200 with the abilities it's pretty good it's pretty good. It's like a, about a third 
at this level, assuming everyone else is this level, um, of their HP. Now, again, nothing to write home about. Let's switch back over, because at level, um, we move so we can see the stats. At this level right here, Cinderace is going to be kicking some butt. You know, like he ain't doing no 1200 damage per second. He's probably more up into the 2000s at this point. But um, again, level seven stats, nothing to write home about. Let's take him to eight, then we get our earthquake, right? Exit out of that menu, get my earthquake. Let's take ourselves up to 10. There's our next big power spike. So we have 6,100 HP, 276 defense, and 206 special defense. Now, um, that's cool. His passive is cool. Let's check out his passive real quick. See, as I'm hitting him, my defense goes up. And it goes up a good bit. It does. It really does. But now, let me ask you this. Um, w w without any passives or anything in mind, at level 10, Snorlax, I believe, has 6,400 HP. And he has very similar defense stats. And he does more damage off of a simpler ability, Flail. I'm not sure if Heavy Slam does more damage, but Flail does at full HP. That's not even given that he's low. So you have a basic Pokemon that starts strong and scales pretty good and here you have a pokemon that starts weak scales good but like snorlax is just as good at end game right and he's stronger early game so like why use mamoswine like what's the point yeah his kit's different and stuff but like if, if, if i'm evolving at level 10 right there, there's no reason a basic pokemon should outstat me there should be something special about a stage two they should have a little more oomph on their evolution like when you hit level 10 you should get very much so stronger and maybe scale it so as you're reaching level 15 you don't get as much stats as other pokemon but more times than not when you hit level 10 with mammal swine in your run-of-the-mill game you you're gonna be versed in level 12 greninjas and it, it just doesn't matter snorlax feels better because, like, yeah, the defense boost right from this, that's great. Snorlax gets block. And it gives him unstoppable. And it gives him armor. And he can use it every, like, 10 or 12 seconds. So, yeah. Mamoswine's existence is just heavily, you know, invalidated by Snorlax. Let's uh, switch on over to damage. Let's just see what kind of damage we can do, right? So, start this off. Quick little earthquake. See that? See how it took a second? So yeah, right around, you know, a thousand. I think we bursted 1600 or whatever, but let's do earthquake again. Let's do earthquake again. Check this one entire second, one entire second before he actually jumps. Now it seems quick, but this is a MOBA. This is a MOBA. One second literally is the difference of you hitting something or not. The difference of killing someone or them killing you. The difference of winning the team fight or losing the team fight. That's what that one second is. That's big. That's big. It's pretty nonsensical to get rid of that. Like when I earthquake, as soon as this releases, right now it should go. You know, but no, there's a wait. You have to predict where people go, right? Let's back out of this. Let's go over to Snorlax. I, I really want them to fix this. The stage two Pokemon should feel stronger. I um I main Crustle, Wigglytuff, and Snorlax. And all three of them feel very strong. Very, very strong. Mamoswine, his kit has its uses. There were moments where he feels powerful, more notably in like team fighting where you're versing one and you're poking at him. And then the enemy team rolls up, your team rolls up. So you essentially start the team fight with your passive stacks on defense. That's when Mamoswine feels strong. But why? With Snorlax, you can heavy slam in the middle of a fight, proc a block, and you're strong as hell. Like, but like, there's a lot of stuff you have to do with Mamoswine to make him feel decent. And it's not like he's stronger than Snorlax when in the right circumstance. He's not. He's on par. Okay, let's take Snorlax into practice mode so I can kind of show you like level 10 Mamoswine. What was that? 272 defense, like 200 spadef, and 6100 HP. No items. Let's see what the basic Pokemon Snorlax sits at. Again, basic Pokemon. 
there's really no crazy power spike other than when he gets his moves at level what is it six and eight that's it you don't have to sweat evolving he's just good throughout the entire game every game i'm gonna do the same thing like you did before i'm gonna waddle on over to the substitute doll we're gonna pull up the stats and we're gonna talk about it also i love this little trainer skin i know it's kind of lame compared to the berry one but i i love this one okay so we on over to the doll right let's go practice options switch over to stats very similar to swin up he starts with a little more hp as expected but um so pillow swine i think he had 4200 hp like 152 defense then like 102 spit off let's take him up to level six he has 500 more hp 50 more defense and i think roughly 30 more special defense he's a basic pokemon he does have to evolve what's the point of using mammal swine And then we're gonna take heavy slam now i can't remember what our dps was i think we bursted 1200 with our abilities but i think it was like 384 with um just auto attacks so let's do auto attacks one two three so he has he bursted 460 so he has about almost 100 more dps with auto attacks let's wait for that to cool off we'll go right to heavy slam and then just do an auto attack combo Oop. one two we burst 1100 okay so with abilities our dps is about the same but again I'm bulkier and I have a crowd control move that's instantaneous. Okay. So let's go back. Oops. Let's go back to stats. And now remember that power spike with Mammoth Swine at level 10. He had 6,100 something um, HP, 272 defense, and then I think 202 spadef. Let's see what Snorlax is looking at. We have about 350 more HP we have about 60 more defense and we have about 20 more special defense and he also gets the strongest move in the game block and he has regeneration with his alt i don't mean to keep prying at this topic but like this is like i'm not a professional but this is so apparently unbalanced it hurts i had one day playing mammal swine and i love it play style's great but he's missing something that's the something more stats at level 10 i think if anything mammal swine should evolve at level five and eight at the bare minimum bare bare minimum blastoise evolves at level 10 he feels great he does a ton of damage he's tanky as hell he's probably one of the strongest pokemon in the game generally speaking he has one of the strongest alts in the game does like a third to everyone's hp with knockup and a stun it's insane you know snorlax is pretty good i think he is the standard for a uh defender crustal is uh very similar in bulk to snorlax but he also has a niche high mobility and great peel potential with x scissor great objective steel potential with stealth rock mammal swine's only niche is peeling peeling opponents off of others creating pressure and when you create pressure and you peel, you, your moves need to be executed fast and you need to be bulky. Snorlax is fast and he's bulkier than Mammal Swine at level 10. Actually, throughout the entirety of the game, he's faster and is bulkier than Mammal Swine throughout the entirety of the game. Right? And there's a one second delay in Mammal Swine's animations. So, you tell me if Mammal Swine needs a buff. If you made it to this point in the video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and kind of listening to my little rant. I hope this kind of opens your eyes a little bit, gets you thinking more critically about certain aspects of this game. I love Pokemon Unite, and I want to see it go in the right direction, but I feel like this needed to be talked about because this is so grossly apparent with how broken Blastoise is, and Sylveon just dropped, and she, again, she's broken. But, you know, the new defender, you know, they don't want to reap what they sowed with Blastoise. They released Mammoth Swine, make him a little weak. I don't know why they added the one-second delay in the animations. I don't know why I'm playing a Stage 2 Pokemon just to evolve to be weaker than a basic that doesn't have to evolve. Why? What's the point? Seriously. I want to know. <laughs> I, I The level 4 evolution with Wigglytuff and Crustle, you don't even talk about it. whoop de doo You know, you evolve in the first two minutes. But with Mammoth Swine... Man, you can evolve at five minutes to Mammoth Swine, or you can evolve at three minutes, depending on how the game's going, and your power spikes aren't even good. So there's almost no point to using them, unfortunately. But yeah, thank you for listening to my little rant, guys.
give this some thought. Maybe tweet Pokemon Unite. Let them know. Hey, Mammoth Swine needs a buff because they're working hard at balancing their game. But it's got to be more. There's got to be more. Game's absolutely incredible and probably one of my favorite games of all time. But it definitely needs some work to create a truly competitive environment. Thank you for listening, guys. Catch you in the next one. Later.